by now i hope and i'm even sure that all of you have gotten the first three shlokas quite well you're playing very well please do write in my comment section so we now go to the fourth shloka kuntala varadi it is a janyam of the 28th melakarta ragam harika modi so the ragam itself does not go with a re ga it starts with a sa ma pa da ni da sa so when you look at the construct of the arohanam you can say it's a vakra ragam because it's not going in an order sa ma one pa da to then you have a ni to you come back to da to and then go to sa sa ma pa da ni da sa sa ni da pa ma sa it just drops down from ma like that and look at the kind of um, melody that it's creating very fresh very different very out of the way melody sa ma one pa da to ni to da to sa again sa ni to da to pa ma one sa sa ma pa da ni da sa sa ni da pa ma sa just the arogadam arogadam itself is creating a kind of a nice wavy tune that is the greatness of people who compose the tune you know they've chosen ragas that so go very well and sit with these shlokas again once again we start with two notes left in the first beat akinchanarte marjan tirantanokti bajanam purari purvanandanam surari garva sharvanam prapanchanash bhishanam tananjayadi bhushanam kapoladanavaranam bhaje purana varanam vantu te bhaje purana varanam the last repeating of bhaje purana varanam like we have done in the previous shlokas also when you are repeating it at which point you are going to play it it's there in your notation i'm giving it very clearly watch the notation in fact i would like all of you to write down copy down the notation in a notebook so that when you're copying it down you'll observe all of these small small things that i'm trying to mention to you your taalam will fall in place your uh, techniques you mark the techniques also in in your notebook wherever you have written the shloka everything will fall in place together i've always emphasized in many of my videos pre preparation this is all pre preparation getting to know your arohanam avarohanam getting uh, you know writing it down and you know marking making brackets of the sahityam along with the swaram and then later on when you uh, when you have learnt marking the techniques there in the swaram whether ma is to be connected to pa this is to be connected to da and so on and so forth this pre preparation before you actually sit down to play is going to be of great help without doing uh, doing that if you jump directly into the shloka you're definitely going to be misstepping and that's not very good if you have to play these five ragams continuously i'll play the arohana avarohana of kuntala varadi once again nishadam did you see how i shook the nishadam sa ne da pa ma sa 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 ma ma and from ma you say glide down till this re and let go of your hand for the sa sa see i'm driving my finger gently till the re one re one is not there in the raga it should not be heard when you're gliding down and taking your hand out it should be done so skillfully sa ma ma sa sa kinchanarti marjanam ne sa ne da ni to for beginners the ni to is behind ga one on the first string you have the ni to behind re to on the first string is the da to marjanam an akaram is coming in the sa so you're going to say ni sa in one strike and then ni da in two different strikes once again 
ಕನೆಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ and back from the da to the sa no ki ma ma on the first string pa ni da pa one strike ni da both to be struck in fact i would prefer that you play the da sa sa from da itself instead of the connect from the sa da you do double strike da to sa da one strike and sa one strike ma ma immediately jump to the first string ma ma pa ni da ti ram ta no ti ba janam purari purvanandanam da sa 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 da ni 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 watch this so many sas at least one or two you have to dash out the double strike first sa will go from da itself two strikes in the one for da one to go to sa da sa 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 purari purva nandanam dani ni ni one strike you have to push da you have to strike da and push it into ni so da ni is one strike dani and then ni ni purari purva nandanam surari garva sharvanam ni 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 da pa da pa ma watch this ni 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 da i am oscillating and pa is playing whenever i'm going into ga i'm pushing the da i'm sorry da not ga i'm pushing the da a little bit behind prapanchana sabishanam it starts from ma 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 pa pa ni da sa da here one very rare place where we are doing this kind of gamakam type of melody for a semi chant like this shloka ma 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 pa pa you can go to the knee directly and shake the knee ni da sa or you can push the knee in da ma 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 one janda verse for sure to add texture pa pa one janda verse now from pa you push into da i do ni da sa play again dananjaya dibhushanam there is no gandharam no rishabham so you going directly to ma getting back to sa sa ma ma sa sa double strike sa one for sa one to go to ma second mind ma and from ma you strike and come back to sa second sa in sa there are two ma's two sa's first ma and first sa are dragged from sa and ma alternatively second ma and sa will be play play dananjaya dibhushanam ni sa ni da where ni sa is one strike ni is one strike da is one strike again dhananjaya dibhushan kapola danavaranam sadasani kapola sa one strike dasa one strike ni one strike kapola the entire melody there is hinging on that 
silence that you've given that sa. Sa, da, sa, ni, da, sa. That sa should be silent. After that, you play two knees. Kapola and then ni, ni. Sa, da, sa, ni, ni. Varanam, da, pa, ma. When you don't have the Gandharam and Rishabham also, see how well the shloka has been constructed. Mama, sa, mama. I am again taking the sa, I have marked down till re to release my sa. Watch this. And while you are watching my left hand, please also take care to see my strike of the right hand. Right hand is 50% of what we are doing uh, with our play. Most of the time we neglect the right hand and we think everything is done only by the left hand. No, the strikes being uh, sharp, gentle, strong, medium, all of that is handled by the right hand. So watch the right hand also through your learning process. Mama, go till re and let go and strike. Mama, sa, mama, pa, 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 je, pa, da, da, ba, da, da. Again, repeat it from the fourth beat, half of the fourth beat. Pa, je, pa, da, da, ba, da, da. Let me play this. flavor is so wonderful you need to try this you need to sit and play around with this raga to really understand how new kind of fresh new and fresh kind of tunes can be are there in Carnatic music you will start uh, understanding the depth of how this entire music system has been created these are opportunities when you learn songs like this when you learn new ragas like this they are opportunities that are like eye-openers you must Throw yourself into that experience so that your knowledge improves. It's not just your knowledge, it's that you'll enjoy what you're doing, that you'll get confident with what you're doing. <laughs> 